Hello everyone, it's Kevin, the homemaker husband. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. Um, what I'm about to get up to right now is, in a video I made last week, I think, I showed, these are butterscotch chips. You know, like for baking. Like chocolate chips only, butterscotch. I packaged these, these are 304 grams. Um, chocolate chips the packages just keep getting smaller we have some over there that are 270 grams and it hasn't been that long ago that and I think you still get some packages that are 300 grams maybe even a little bit more but I went to the bulk barn today and I bought more butterscotch chips this is actually 660 grams so I'm going to divide them up equally put them in a bowl just so I can weigh them out get them weighed and then I'm going to uh, make a bag about like this and I'm going to try to get it flattened out you can see there's one wayward butterscotch chip that get up there that kind of poops things up but I want to be able to lay this on my other pile like on the baking shelf over there I've got a pile of chocolate chips stacked up different varieties and stuff and I want them to stack right in there too for the sake of neatness and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to uh, weigh them out and then I'll cut you back in and show you that little process. Also, I have a whole bunch of chicken products and whatnot, uh, patties, fingers, nuggets, and I'm going to uh, take them out of the boxes and I'm going to package them in the portion sizes that Michelle and I would use. It saves space in the deep freeze and it saves waste like because when I take them out of the freezer I don't have to thaw a whole box just to get us a meal so I can take it out as uh, we want to use it. So we found that really that's the best way as I said it's space saving and food saving. Anyway, that's what this part of the video is going to be about anyway, so stay tuned and I will show you that. And when I get it all said and done there, I'll probably give you a peek in that deep freeze. Now I'm going to be changing some things. I've already done some. I had in the refrigerator freezer there, I had some butter. I took that out and moved it over in the smallest uh, upright freezer we have, the little one. I put it over in that and just to make a little more room in there so I've got a bunch of stuff here to portion out and vacuum seal so I'm gonna get at that now I guess I might as well sort of show you the whole process here I've got this little uh, kitchen scale uh, max weight six pounds 6.6 .6 pounds but we generally don't get that high so I've got two identical bowls here and I'm going to go to make so two packages. So set that on there and then I'm going to zero it out. And quite often, and this time it is saying exactly zero. So quite often it will say like one or two grams when you go to zero. I don't know why it does that, but it does. I'm gonna try to get within, you know, that was 49 grams. If I get 300 in that one, even a little more. 336, that's very close to what half that will be. So you know what? See that right there is showing one gram. I don't know why it does that, but I guess a gram is a pretty small unit, so. 330, 329, I can't really split a gram with this. We're gonna call that close enough. So that part is done. Making sure, and just like that, that one's cut. There's only there's a reason why I turned that over like that, but and I'm just gonna seal that end. 
The reason I turn that is because the bag wants to tend to curl up, right? I just turn it over and it forces it to lay flat. So there we have that one, that one sealed. So in with the first one. You have to lay that like that. Now I'm going to see if I can't do this. If I get a kink in it like that, then it won't, it won't seal good. So, we're going to try and, I want that bag to lay right out flat. So, I'm going to do the rapid and pulse. Perfect. So there. Now the last thing I do three hundred and thirty, I'm going to call them both three hundred and thirty grams uh, sealed. September 3rd. They'll lay on the shelf. You fold that over and they lay in there nicely. And you can tell the difference between them two. But that's okay. So that's that us next operation now. This is the first box that I took out of the freezer. Uh, chicken cutlets. Looks like chicken nuggets to me. But uh, that's what I'm going to do first. And I'm going to be using these pre-made bags. Eight inches wide, probably 12 inches long. Gives you room to seal. I got to count these, count these, see how many's in it. And I will divide it up basically evenly. So, set the box aside. Okay, and then we will repeat the process. I wanted to show you whether you can see that or not. Where my finger is, I'll demonstrate. These bags come with holes punched straight in them. That's in there from the factory. So if you leave them in these packages too long, even though they're in the cardboard, they're going to freeze or burn. And probably fairly quickly. So keep that in mind. Now, two in each bag. And then seal them up. that's not the proper way to spell that for this but 
Jane's on there is because we have a couple of different kinds and if we ever buy a different kind again we want to know right and the reason it's important for us is because there's not a thing in these ones that will bother Michelle's asthma and stuff but the other kind there is so that's why it's important for us and these I realize it's a lot of redundancy and Michelle does as well but you know sometimes you want your chicken to be long and skinny and sometimes you want your chicken to be round and small and sometimes bigger if you want to eat it in a bun so and that's it for that there was uh, 19 pieces so it's six and six and seven which is okay goes by weight so anyway uh, I'm not sure if I get anything else to seal up or not but I will check if not I know that's maybe boring I'll show you the end result I'll show you top my deep freeze maybe we'll see so the last thing that I got to do here I got two packages of these hot Italian sausages two packages of the mild Italian so five in each package ten all together and two packages of these breakfast sausages now there's 14 in each one of them so I'm gonna end up with four packages of breakfast sausage so stay tuned and I'll show you how I do that So, here's what I learned today, too. I pretty much took everything out of that little freezer above the fridge today. Reorganized and I threw a couple of things out. But that freezer, really, we don't have in our pantry app. So, in the case of there, it's good to know to go through it, to empty it out, to refresh your memory about what's in there and I've had to like I've had to dig into that big chest freezer a couple of times to get things out now while we do have a list of stuff that's in there it helps me to remember where stuff is because as you know that's just a big deep square hole and stuff can kind of get lost down in there so it's good to as much as it's a pain pull a bunch of stuff out so you can have a look and know where stuff is it saves time when it comes to go looking for things so uh, I'll take just a moment show you the top you're just gonna see the top but uh, I do have some extra space now that I took them chicken pieces out of the boxes seal them up they take a third the space but I've actually moved them from the chest freezer to the little upright so uh, I'm gonna just show you because I said I would so anyway that's what I'm up to right now so there's the top as you can see we're almost at max capacity I had to I could throw out these ice cubes I could always make more but got a little space here we are going to be cooking for the week most of that's gonna be done Monday so it's fresh through the week but uh, you can see we've got a pretty good little stash going here and that's quite important so. hey everyone so that finishes up my uh, vacuum sealing for today what I end up with is four packages of seven breakfast sausages and you know I could break them down a little more I eat three Michelle eats two and the dog gets two every time but he's part of the family too I guess right and the cat will have a little nibble every chance she can so I've got four packages there and uh, ten doesn't divide evenly so I have 
one package of four of the mild Italian and two packages of three. Ready for the deep freeze and the same with the hot Italian. Four and two packages of three. I write on them so we know what they are because we have a couple packages in there and for whatever reason I didn't write on them. And are they brats or are they sausage? And we don't know. So that was my bad and I learned. Write it right on there and the, and we know. And I just realized I forgot to put the date on the, the Italian sausage. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and throw them in the deep freeze. So anyway, once again, this is Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying thank you very much for watching. So bye for now and God bless.